Hello you guys. I spent over $12,000 in gas in 2022. I spent $61,000 total living on the road full time. In this video, I'm going to somewhat break it down, my expenses down for you, and let you know where all this money went in each category. So I use a banking system called SoFi. It's social financial. I use that for my personal banking and it breaks down everything into like a pie chart. So I'm gonna show you guys how much I spent on gas. It says around 11,700 and then I did use cash too. It broke down all of my spending this year and I spent a total of $61,000. 10,000 of that was Actually, probably more like 15,000 of that was put into the Trailblazer. A lot of that was unnecessary, unfortunately, but now that I have my own tools and I've learned more about my vehicle, it is going to be okay this year. I think I'm gonna do a lot better moving in to the future, but we are finally in Florida. That was my end goal. This year, I traveled so far, 27 over 27,000 miles. Started in California, went down to the border of Mexico, went to Texas twice, Oregon, Idaho, Arkansas, Colorado, where else? California, Nevada, Louisiana, and now I'm finally in Florida. I spent about $10,000 on food and groceries. That's eating out, trying different foods wherever I go. The only reoccurring bills I had were my car insurance and my phone bill and i believe that's it so my phone my phone bill now that i have a business is about 140 dollars a month and my car insurance is about 400 dollars every six months so i guess that's only reoccurring every six months so that's not too bad i did forget about amenities that have reoccurring bills such as subscriptions I subscribe to YouTube premium which gives me the ability to download videos and music so when I don't have service I can do that I also use Hulu and Amazon Prime now let's not forget about vet bills I think I spent about six thousand dollars on Bruce last year with vet bills his food buying new leashes and harnesses because I lose them everywhere I go. So if you're traveling with a pet, make sure that you have money set aside for them. This has been an incredible journey. I'm not even close to being done yet. There's so much I wanna see. And this year, I'm gonna take my time. I'm not gonna make any promises to anybody except for myself. If I run into people and see them and we can hang out, then great. But I'm done giving myself a timeline for certain things because last year was just spent moving. And this year, my goal is to save more money and get to actually enjoy the ride. This has been such an incredible, incredible time for me. Definitely a learning experience and, um, yeah, I ended up, I ended out the year with another life lesson. Always put yourself first and make sure that people are treating you appropriately. And this kind of goes along the lines of me taking my time. A lot of times I've traveled very far to get to places where there's people who want me to be there for various reasons. And a lot of times I did feel appreciated but there have been times where I haven't, and I don't think the people that want me in these places understand how difficult it is sometimes to travel far. 
and make your vehicle run appropriately and how much money it goes into traveling. Make sure that when you're traveling, you travel for your own reasons. Don't let people make you feel guilty for not seeing them. Otherwise, you're gonna just be spending a lot of money and you're not really gonna enjoy it the way you want to. Where are they, Brucie? Get them. Brucie, you gotta go back around. Come on, go back around. Nope. Brucie, no! I actually ended up staying in my car most of the year. I think I only spent about $500 in lodging. That's pretty impressive. I lived out of my trailblazer full time in 2022. I traveled the United States and I put 27,000 miles on my vehicle. So it was definitely a costly year. Was it worth it? I believe so. And I have some changes that I'm going to make in 2023. If you would like more finance expense type stuff for 2022, let me know. And maybe I'll make one for every month like I planned to do last year. But maybe I'll do it this year because I think I'm going to be changing some things around. Might be changing my setup. And who knows what this year will bring. But I'm going to focus more on myself, that's for sure. So I'm going to end the video with a little montage recap of 2022. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it helps you out. If you have any questions, please follow me on Instagram, out and about with Diane, or send me an email, out and about with Diane at gmail.com. You can always join Patreon and I have a lot of fun stuff planned over there. All right, bye.